Let me guess, you watch a bunch of fucking Joel Kaplan videos, or maybe some dudes who have like 2,000 subscribers, which they have more than me, so kudos to them. And it's like, how to land SMA clients. Maybe you watch Jordan Platten, maybe you watch people like this, and it's like, how to scale your agency to 100K a month, 30K a month, and you watch them all the time, and you sit on YouTube, and you always think you're gonna do it, and then you realize, oh, shit. I'm landing no clients. So you're just like stuck consuming these things on the internet. You always feel like you know what you need to do to hit the next level, but it en never ends up happening. And like, I'm not trying to blame you. That was me. It took me 18 months to land my first client, right? <laughs> 18 months, a year and a half of work without landing a client. So I'm going to show you everything today that you can do to make sure that it doesn't take you 18 months. And <laughs> it's everything that I've done that's allowed me to hit 100K months, uh, 10K days, and everything along that source. I promise you, I am no better than you, genuinely. If I can do it, by all means, you can do it too. You can probably do it faster than I did it, because I had no idea what I was doing. And so, I'm making this video, I make these videos to help you guys out, and to hopefully get you where I am a little bit faster than you would have if you didn't have me here. But I basically guarantee that if you watch this video and actually implement what I'm talking about, I'm giving away everything I know. I'm not gatekeeping a single fucking thing and I have nothing to sell you. If you do implement these things, I guarantee you will succeed. So let's get into it. What's up, people? So I'm going to be going over how to actually land SMMA clients because I'm sure you've already tried for a pretty long time and maybe you've seen no results. So the biggest change that I made when I was at zero for 18 months straight, sending 50 cold emails a day, had no fucking clue what I was doing, offering $5 Starbucks gift cards so people would show up to the call was prioritization. So the person who like brought this up to me was Joel Kaplan. And it's so, he says it all the time, Saka, 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 which basically means setting appointments and closing appointments. And it makes so much fucking sense, but not a lot of people do it enough. So it's like, oh, guess fucking what? You set appointments and you close them and that's how you make money. Maybe we shouldn't be focused on our website or we shouldn't be focused on the calendar or we shouldn't be focused on fulfillment when we have no clients. So the biggest, most important thing that we can do right now to double the business is set appointments and close them. And if we're never setting appointments and we're never closing appointments and we're never making money in our business. So again, it sounds stupid as fuck, but like every moment you should be, you should be saying to yourself, right? How will this make me money? Right? So like whenever we're working, like there's so many times where people think they work all day, but they got no work done. If you didn't land a client, if you set no appointments, if you close no meetings, then you didn't get any work done and you made no progress. And this is how exactly how business owners stay at the same situation and plateau for a fucking year because they do the same thing every day. And wouldn't it be so like, isn't it so stupid that like, oh, guess what? You do the same thing for a year. You get the same result for a year. But um, basically, like I said, every moment, think to yourself, yo, I am sending DMs right now. How is this going to make me money? Okay, sending DMs. I'm going to get leads. It's going to get me appointments. Boom. And then second thing, do more. Whatever you're doing, do more. There's a bazillion people trying to do the same exact thing you were doing. So what makes you going to win and them not, right? And they all see these same YouTube videos that are like, send 200 DMs and cold call 100 people. And so everyone's doing that. Volume negates luck. Do more than everyone else if you want it more than everyone else. How fucking bad do you want it? I hear people tell me all the time because I do this for a living. How bad do you want it? Oh, I want it so bad. I'll do everything. Boom. They come in. They don't do shit, right? And so... Like, how bad do you want it? Whatever you're doing, double, triple, quadruple it, right? And then last thing, go take action. Stop watching YouTube. I guarantee you know enough information. Go watch this video and implement it. Fall forward, trust yourself that you're going to figure it out no matter what. Catch yourself on the way down and just trust that you will succeed. Now, when it comes to more tactical things, trust me, I know, mindset is boring, but it is the most important thing, right? I swear, business is not the hardest thing in the world right? It takes someone who is poised and has a lot of work ethic to actually get it done. Now, when it comes to tacticals, niche and offer, when it comes to your niche, if you haven't even picked one yet, just fucking pick it. And if you already have one, most likely just stay with it. My favorite niches is like ones that have money that can pay you a lot of it. Um, so one, just make sure they have money and two, make sure there's a lot of them and they're easy to find. So like dentists, chiropractors, um, roofers, solar, shit like that, where they have money, um, they're rich and yeah. Cause then they like, if they pay you $2,000 a month, it's like nothing compared to their marketing budget, right? Every niche sucks, 
I see everyone, oh, I'm going to change niches and I'm going to make 100K per month. No. It's like, bro, you have to get better within your niche. Most niches can sale, scale 99% of them, so literally just pick it. For offer, whether you're a beginner or you're established, I love performance-based offers. Right? They're my fucking favorite. One, like paper appointment, paper shown appointment, paper closed appointment, um, like percentage of new cash, so like 10%, and then setup fee. If you're advanced, setup fee. And we, bro, we've ran setup fees up to like 6K. Like, dude, like we've run like paper show. My old offer used to be paper show, 6K setup fee plus paper show. And like, like I've written down here, a big reason why I like paper show or pay, pay like per close for like established people is because you get to collect that setup fee, let's say 3K setup fee, plus the show fees you get them during their first month. So let's say you, you charge 3K and you get them 10 shows for 100 bucks. You make 4K that first month, right? And so like second, if you're advanced, then you should be collecting a lot of performance fees. And it should genuinely be a relationship where it like benefits you both because isn't that what an agency should do, right? And isn't, isn't an agency somebody who should come and do somebody's marketing and get paid when they get paid? Business is a transfer of, like, is a, is a transfer of services for money. Right. And so like, if our services are good, we should get paid a lot. If our services are, are shit, we probably shouldn't get paid a lot. Right. Right. So paper appointment, paper show, paper close percentage of new cash. Now, when it comes to, if you were a beginner, I just do paper close. It is probably the easiest to set appointments for. These are really good offers. Paper appointment, paper show. I like a little bit more cause you can control the sales process. Um, but I like paper show when you're a little bit more advanced and you know, and you have some baseline KPIs and metrics to basically create a baseline off of um, when it comes to your fulfillment, right? So if you're charging paper show and you have no idea how to fulfill, you get no shows. And it's like, well, fuck, I'm getting papered show, right? Um, but yeah, so like basically very beginner, I do paper close. If you're advanced, I would kind of go into paper show. Um, and eventually I like to upsell into percentage of new cash. Right. And so the reason for this is, um, basically, yo, we get them to trust us with paper close. Okay. And then we just basically want to become the CMO of their business. Right. Just basically run all of their marketing, have a huge amount of spend and like provide a fuck ton of value. Right. And so the reason I like this, if you're a beginner is because if you're a beginner, you have a shitty service and you have a shitty service, you're basically scamming people. And if you're scamming people, then you're basically an Indian credit card scammer. And so why are you even running a business? Right. And so it allows you to not be a scammer because it allows you to get paid when you get, when they get paid. Right. And so second thing I like is, um, it's way easier to get appointments and close clients when you have skin in the game. Right. So like, it's like, obviously, yo, if I'm going to tell you right now and be like, yo, John watching this video, I will go and set your agency appointments for free. Basically you just pay me when you close an agency client. Wouldn't you love that? Exactly. It's the most irresistible offer on the market. So you're going to get way cheaper appointments. You're going to get way more appointments and you're going to close people at a way higher percentage. So it'd basically be like, if you're a very beginner, I would do pay per close with $500 setup fee. Close five of those, paper close at a thousand dollar setup fee, paper close at a fifteen hundred dollar setup fee, paper close at a two thousand dollar setup fee, right? And keep going. And we've seen people get up to like nine K. Josh Rivera sells a setup fee for like nine K. So the niche and offer, boom, pick it fast. Second, setting appointments, right? So learning paid ads is the fastest way to scale your agency. So obviously you are the marketing guy. That's your job. You're supposed to be good at marketing, right? You run other people's ads. So why should you not run ads, right? So when it comes to paid ads, I have this masterclass I made for you guys. Um, and I'm not going to go through the whole thing, right? But I will vaguely cover everything because I just have a bunch of out, like I'm giving away like everything from paid courses that I have. Um, so like literally like this is everything, but Basically, I'll run through this super fast. Creating your ad creative is the most important part. It takes up the most real estate. Literally, when you're scrolling, the reason why someone clicks is because of the creative. The reason why somebody doesn't click is because of the creative, right? But I see all these 100K a month agency owners and all of them are running paid ads. If I could do one thing in my agency sooner, it is run paid ads. You can flood your, you can flood your calendar with $30, $50 a day, right? One sec. Fuck, I just had to sneeze. My bad. Um, but creative is the most important thing. Um, when it comes to targeting, you just need to call out whoever you're calling out in your ad. So it's whether it's solar pros, roofers, dentists, right? And so it's like 
think about it. You, when you're clicking on ads, how often are you clicking on ads? Probably not that much. So it's like, we have to make an ad that can stop somebody's scroll um, because they have like Mr. Beast on their page. They have their mom. They have cute golden retrievers and Dobermans. And then it's fucking your ad. So you are competing with some pretty competitive stuff, right? So there's two types of ads, images and videos. Video ads typically have a higher cost per lead, but higher intent. Um, image ads, easy as fuck to make, typically lower cost per lead. Both can scale massively, don't get stuck on this. If you're a beginner, do image ads, especially if you're in SMMA, right? So image ad structure, call out, and just keep it very, very, very simple, right? Let me go pull up an image ad we ran. So yeah, all of these ads got us fucking such cheap leads, like probably like $8, $8 leads, right? Us versus them, only paper install, no monthly retainer, installs guaranteed. Um, literally, this is the same exact thing we do every time. Horizon font, call out, offer, boom, literally. Just literally call out, offer, doesn't even need to look pretty because this is a very direct response ad, which basically means it's direct response to the market. Yo, do you like the offer? Yes, click, no, okay, fuck off, don't click it, right? And so it's direct response. Um, what I would do is I'd make an ad like that and you guys can go through like videos and shit like that for what I have for you here. Um, structuring your campaign, just do two ad sets, one broad, one interest stack, um, and 25 per ad set minimum. So I wouldn't run ads unless you have like $1,000 liquid US in your bank account, right? And um, lead form, literally just copy this exact thing. Now, again, if you are running ads and that's what you choose to do, um, if you have the capital to run ads, I would run ads, right? And if that's you right now, click, um, I'll, I'll put this, how to actually land SMMA client stock in the description. Click this and read through the whole thing. Next is cold calling, right? So, and last is DM. So it just depends. Like you have to think about, like these are free ways. So if you don't have $1,000 US liquid, I would do these. Or let's say $1,500, right? So I would cold call depending on niche, right? I like cold calling when the business doesn't have a lot of gatekeepers, which basically means receptionists. Like if I was a dentist, if I was in dentistry, I probably wouldn't cold call because it would be like, I just call them and it'd be like, oh yeah, this is John, John, John's assistant. And you can't reach him because he doesn't want to talk about marketing. I do like cold call, cold calling because you can talk to directly with the business owner. Right. And two, because you have to be good to book appointments. And if you do book appointments, it means you're good at sales and means the prob like you'll probably be pretty decent on the sales call, right? And you like basically you won't sound like a weirdo on the phone. So I love um cold calls, basically. Yeah. And so like basically depending on your niche, like dentists, I wouldn't do it because there's a gatekeeper. Solar and roofing, I love it. Real estate agents, I don't tend to like it. But like think about where does your prospect hang out? Are they on a social media? Are they on their phone? Like so things like that. Now same thing with DMs, right? I love DMs for real estate. I love DMs for like mostly like cold calling doesn't work for every niche. DMs do because everyone's on um, social media. But cold calling can work really, really well in specific niches like roofing, solar, and other contracting niches, things like that, right? So when it comes to cold calling, let me pull this up for you guys. Boom. Um, again, you guys will have access to this doc, so I'm not going to go through everything, but when it comes to scripts, we have a few different variations. So there's an intro, uh, a pitch and some questions, right? And so like, and then booking them in some things that I want you guys to realize is the pitch is everything. So for, it's like basically two steps. One is the intro. How many people can we get to let us have a conversation with them? Right? Because it's like everyone just hangs up on cold calls, right? So if you can get past that, um, like, and you have a good pitch, you will book every appointment. Like we like cold calls will fucking crush. We've seen people make a hundred cold calls and book 10 appointments. Right. And so if you're running that paper close offer that I was just talking about, like everybody and like can handle some objections, then everybody will fucking love it. Right. Everyone will, uh, everyone will book essentially. Right. And so it's like, go through those scripts, wrap them a lot. Again, the reason why I, want, I love cold calls is because one, we can book way more appointments with DMs of the software, if not the software, if the, uh, if the niche is correct, right? Two, cold calling somebody and booking an appointment is almost harder than closing somebody because they've never talked to us before and things of that nature, right? And so like it's, it's harder. So then when we do take the sales call, it's fine, right? And um, 
yeah. So another thing I want you guys to keep in mind is uh, only book them in for same day or next day. It just helps a lot with show rate. Like I'll, I'll make show rate videos in the future. But when it comes to cold calling software, there's a bunch, right? We can do your personal phone, Kixi, and all these other ones. These other ones cost money. The reason why they're good is they have something called a predicted dialer or a power dialer, which basically means we can call three people at once, right? And so if you get these softwares, we can call three people at once, three to 10 people at once, and then whoever answers first, will you'll talk to and everything else will just drop, right? Next, the lead list where you're gonna find the phone numbers, all of these, just look them up. Um, KPI tracker. So we have this KPI tracker for you guys. Everything we have, just make sure you're making a copy of it. We're basically, oh fuck, you can't see any of it. Um, it's dials, how many dials, how many pickups, how many pitches you're making, um, how many appointments you're booking and things of that nature, right? So at the end of every day, say it's like today, I'm filming this on June 12th. So like June 12th, we come in here, we made XYZ dials, this many people picked up, right? This is fucking pivotal because this allows us to be like, okay, are people not picking up or is our intro like so are people not picking up are people not are we not pitching to people or are we not booking people right and so that allows us to be like okay people aren't even picking up so that means we probably are calling at the wrong time of the day or our phone says spam risk or like our lead list is bad and so that's what we'll fix right if we're not pitching a lot of people it means that we're getting on the phone but not a lot of people are like letting us talk to them right so boom we need to fix our intro. And then if we're not booking people, it means there's something wrong with our offer or objection handling, right? And then some tips along the way, don't use GHL, it'll come up as spam likely. Number per call area is super powerful. It'll help a lot with pickup rate. So let's say, for example, like Miami or LA area code is 818. If, uh, if you get one of these softwares, it'll have local presence on it, essentially, right? Um, so which means like it'll come up as 818 when you call them, it'll help a lot with pickup rate. Um, yeah, clear out phone.io to get rid of office numbers. And so like, um, cause it'll waste your time call between eight to 9 AM and four to 5 PM. According to time zone, those are the best hot times, but I would just call all day if you're doing cold calls three to 400 a day. I guarantee you, if you do that every day, you will win. Um, put in the reps, get ready for rejections. And there's going to be a lot of receptionists, right? So that's it. When it comes to cold calls, when it comes to DMS, I'm not going to be able to touch on this a lot. But there's just a bunch of different docs in here, right? So sales process, DM channel, buying accounts, optimizing accounts, finding your audience, DM communication, DM scripts, KPI and KPI tracker, right? So essentially, I'm giving you guys fucking everything. So after you watch this, you literally have no excuses. If you watch this and don't do anything and don't succeed, then I don't want you coming to blame me. It's completely your fault. So this is the most important thing. Volume negates luck. I guarantee you, if you do 400 cold calls or 2K DMs a day for three months straight, 90 days, you don't miss a day, you will win. And you keep getting better throughout the process and making optimizations. Because I really want you guys to realize, if you keep sending the same amount in the same script, you will make the same amount of money. So make optimizations, right? Track your KPIs for cold calling, like I was just talking about. 40% pickup, let's say the pitch rate's super low. Okay, we need to change the offer. Not the offer, we need to change the messaging to book them. Okay, or the introduction. The introduction. Let's say we're not getting people to pick up. Okay, we need to do this. We need to make changes, right? I guarantee you if you do that for 90 days straight, decide to recreate yourself right fucking now, your body, your mind, your business, your finances, I guarantee you can change yourself. I guarantee it. I did the same thing and I'm not cool. I'm not special. I'm not anything. I'm literally just a fucking normal dude. Like I promise you, like normal as fuck, right? And so if you do these things, I guarantee you will win. And all I'm trying to do is help you out. All I'm trying to do is help you out because you were probably exactly how I was two years ago, three years ago. You're willing to do whatever it takes to get it done, but you just don't know what to do. But please trust me when I say this, just fucking do it. Just go pick up the phone and start calling, right? I don't care. Right after this, even if it's 3 a.m., go call somebody. Get over that fear. It is okay. Trust yourself. You can do it right? Same thing with DMs. Go do the same thing. And if you already are advanced, then I would just track your KPIs and do more. Do more, more, more of what works, right? At first, we just do need, need to do so much more. A thousand cold calls a day. That's not even possible. There's not even enough time to do it in the day. But as many as you fucking can um, until we find something that works, 
the script that works, whatever works. And we just, then we just go from there and do that a lot. Last thing is sales. Um, last thing is sales. So once we get on, once these, once we book the appointments and get them on the appointments, um, this is just the sales script, right? So I'm giving you guys a sales script too, that we use in our hundred K a month agency. Like it is yours. Just change these red words to whatever niche you're in. Um, but yeah, I'm gatekeeping literally nothing. Um, I'm launching a school community in the next three days, um, on like, or next week on Monday, June, I think it's 17th. So it's going to be everything you think my YouTube videos are valuable. Um, yeah, you, you will see. So I'll be leaving those in the descriptions. Um, subscribe if I'm giving you value, if I'm helping you out at all, it helps me a lot more than you think. And, uh, I'll catch you guys soon.